Here's our five o'clock advisory and the storm now not too far offshore, just 85 miles to the south southwest of Wilmington, but uh, closer to Myrtle Beach. They're only about 50 miles to the southeast of it. The uh, pressure has come up a little bit. The winds have come down a little bit, but still category two and now moving northeast at 10. But it's going to be a very close call if it makes landfall there or the core of the storm goes across Cape Fear. Here's the future track. That is tonight, that's tomorrow morning, and then Dorian is off to the northeast and could, could bring some tropical storm force winds to the Cape there, uh, Cape Cod, but other than that, should stay out at sea until it reaches the Canadian Maritimes. Here's the radars today from south of North Carolina, and you can see the center there, the eye still showing up, and these big, big bands coming up to the north and east of the storm. Those are producing some tornado warnings and flash flood situations there, so the only good thing here is that the storm is moving quickly along, but once again, it's going to come very, very, very close to Cape Fear. So besides Dorian, and you can see the whole life track there of where it formed and became a tropical depression and then a tropical storm and then a hurricane and then stopped right there just east northeast of us and now is moving that north and going to turn on to the northeast there. We're also watching Gabrielle, which is way out in the Atlantic. Gabrielle, not much change today, forecast to become a hurricane as it moves to the northwest, but no bother to us because we are far away from it and it's staying far away from us.